African bishops meeting in Entebbe, Uganda this week condemned homosexuality, saying it's against the word of God. The Anglican Church has been torn for years by disputes about authority over church teachings, especially on gay rights. The second All-African Bishops Conference brings together more than 400 African bishops to discuss issues on the continent. Luke Orombi, Archbishop of Uganda, says African churches are not going to compromise their stand against homosexuality. The Orthodox believers like we in Africa, the majority of us, have stood clearly to say what my brother Bernard has said. Homosexuality is incompatible with the Word of God. In this country, we cherish the Word of God. And if you are proclaiming that word of God, you want to stick to it faithfully. Uganda's anti-homosexuality bill was introduced by Member of Parliament David Bahati in October 2009. The bill seeks to eradicate homosexuality from Uganda. David Bahati says the legislation promotes strong family values. The Constitution of Uganda outlaws, prohibits same-sex marriage. The Penal Code Act of this country uh, talks about unnatural behavior. The behave, n n talks about unnatural behavior. Um, and there are gaps. It does not, it falls short of defining what homosexuality is and uh, what penalties should be there. Uganda's gay community says the legislation will only formalize the persecution of gay and lesbian community. Ugandans demonstrated in Kampala recently in support of the bill. Pepe Julia Onzima is a gay activist in Kampala who asked that her identity be hidden. She and her partner spend most of their time together indoors and she says the law is a archaic. I can't go to a shop as, you know, the normal or the, 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 the relaxed kind of of life has gone you know i can't just go across and, and 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 buy myself food i have to go to particular places where i know that i'll be safe the reason why i moved this way is because i've been picked off the streets you know detained for some time ridiculed intimidated you know some money taken away from from uh, from my wallet and then i'm you know, they release me, they tell me, go. Uganda's president, Ayowari Museveni, has come under pressure from donor countries, including the United States, to drop the proposed law. The spiritual head of the world's 80 million Anglicans, Archbishop of Canterbury, Ron Williams, spoke at the conference, but did not mention the gay rights. In our own times, there have been many who have courageously continued in this tradition. And here we may think specially today with celebration and thanksgiving of our brothers in Sudan, in DRC, in Zimbabwe, whose authority as pastors in the Church of God rests so deeply on their willingness to take risks alongside their flock. Gay rights in Africa came to fore this year with the arrest and conviction of a gay couple in Malawi who married in a traditional ceremony. Paul Ndiho, VOA News.